Worn brake cables and housing can seriously compromise the functionality and power of your brakes. Firstly, the cables can get all gunked up with grit and grime. This friction in the system takes away from the power of your brakes, and power is what we want to preserve. It isn't is, it? yeah. Over time, cables and housing can also become kinked, and those overly tight bends in the cable cause you just to pull hard on the lever just to get the brakes to yeah. move. These are the main problems that we're going to look to fix. Okay, so seeing as we are working on the brake cables, I'm going to need access to the housing, and that means I've got to remove the bar tape. So now's a really good time to check your housing length. You just place the housing up against the bar, and you just look for the line that the cable takes. What you don't want is it coming all the way out here and then back in, and similarly, you don't want it coming out of here. And if we think the tape's going to finish around about here, you don't want the uh, cable housing going straight to the uh, brake caliper there, because that would pull on the tape. So this line that Dave has got right here looks quite nice. Cable enters quite nice and straight into the caliper. So I think we'll just use this as a guide for the new stuff. So time to grab your Allen key and just undo that cable clamp bolt. As you can see, Dave's cable is all frayed down here. So what I'll do in this case is I'll cut the cable about there just makes it getting out easier. So when it comes to measuring your new cable outer, you can use the old stuff, but if it's all bent and that, it can be a little bit difficult to kind of make it fit. That would give us a rough estimation, but you can always dispose of that put this into the shifter body and then just measure it. One thing that you might forget is just wind your barrel adjuster back in. That's gonna make setup much easier. Now we come on to the rear brake, and Dave's bike has, well, it's got a slightly unusual setup because the length of housing runs right from the shifter all the way down to the rear brake. So there's a slightly different technique for removing this. We don't want to remove the housing entirely. What we wanna do is we're gonna make a cut up here. We're gonna undo the cable down here, and then we're gonna Hold on to the cable inner, and we're gonna slide the cable outer off. That will allow us to then slide a new cable outer over the old cable inner and all the way through the frame. And that should save us hours of headaches. And we can just remove this old cable inner. So now we come to install the housing and we need to cut it to length, but we don't wanna cut it too short. So what we can do is just press it up against the bar, use your other hand, to kind of secure the cables where they're gonna be. Um, and, you know, we want a nice straight run into the frame, but we don't wanna be too short because we need the bars to still be able to turn. So just add a little bit extra than you might think. Um, and then once you've got a nice curve, you can just cut up here at the shifter body. But at the shifter body, the stop inside the shifter is a few millimeters in. So make sure you leave just a little bit for that. Now, this is a quick pro tip. These third hand tools are really, really good because they allow you to actually grab onto the cable and squeeze the brake at the same time. Something that you usually need two hands to do. That's why they're called a third hand. So the tool grabs the cable there and then it pushes on the brake. See how the brake has closed up, but we've also pulled the cable through. That just means that once you crimp this anchor bolt down, you won't have any movement of the brake. So you can really finely set your brake pads to be very, very close to the rims. Well, that's it, we're done. Um, now that you've recabled your brakes, you're gonna need to set them up properly though. 
Thankfully, we've got a video for that. And while you're here, you may as well do your gears. The bar tape's off, why not? We've got a video for that too. Remember to subscribe and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.